You think you can handle that fishing pole? Yeah. Yeah? So can you reel in a fish bigger than you? Mm, we'll find out. We're gonna find out, huh? Oh, I got one! I got one! I got one! Phil. Yeah, I do! See? Somebody come help me! <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are you yelling for help? What's up guys, today and my dad's other friends here, you can see them too, there's one over there, and so today we are going to be paddle fishing today, snagging them. That's right. It's going to be awesome. Catching fish bigger than you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Sir, I'm going to need to see your driver's oh, license. Oh, whoa, hey, what's going on, officer do you, do you, arms? Do you have driver's license? Are you certified to back this Man. boat in the water? I Are we going to see this truck? I was just sleeping underwater. <laughs> he might. He might want to record this. <laughs> That's going to get interesting real quick. I don't quick. know if Dutch can back a truck up. I'm, I'm much not sure if he can back a trailer into oh, the water. Oh, the pressure's on now. The old Guggen here. Uh, <laughs> the old Guggen. The Guggen's behind us, Taylor. So as Houston said, we're back here in Northeast Oklahoma, home, the home of Keeping It Dutch and Taylor from Pure Living for Outdoors. Two other YouTubers we're hanging out with today. We're gonna be on the water snagging for paddlefish. We come up here every year. This is, yeah, I think year four. Today we're gonna be on the water with Tommy from T. McD's Guide Service. Fished with him last year, caught a ton of big um, spoonbill, and then we caught some sand bass. So probably gonna do the same thing today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. What are you doing off the boat already, Captain? We limited out. Me and Houston done limited out. Yeah. Bought them all. Might as well go home. Watch out, let him pull him Sorry, in. Good. Hang on to the pole tight, okay? Hang on to it, you're gonna try to Is that a shark? Ooh. What is that? Hang on to it, it's a spoonbill, that's what we're after, buddy. Hang on to everything you got, okay? Hold on tight. I'm doing it. Woo! <laughs> Where's he going? Holy moly. Holy. Here, come on, I girl. can't hold that. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. I've got faith in you. I can't hold it. Here, put your arms out. I can't. Put your arms out. I can't. I promise. Hold it. But here, hold it like I'm holding That's it. That's hard. Hold it, buddy. There you go. Is that the biggest fish you ever caught, Houston? Yeah. Yeah? You like that? Yeah. Are you going to throw him back? No. You got to throw him back in? Nope. Yeah, your, sp your spoon bill doesn't have much of a bill on him. All right, we gotta let it go now, okay, bud? Ooh. Yeah, but being the first one, no, that's a perfect that's size heat right there. Houston, what? you caught your first spoon bill, and they sounded the alarm. They gonna let everybody <laughs> know Houston's catching fish now. <laughs> you believe that? I can't believe I caught it. Is that me real mean? There he is, right there. Oh, he is. Come on, he's. 
so he's right there, but. Hey, Houston's out fishing everybody. I hear you. What do y'all got? Sword. Definitely out fishing his dad. I got a sword, boy. Do we have the same fish? No. Yeah, we got two. I'm surprised right now. It's good, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Houston, we got a double. Houston's out fishing me so far. I think he's up no, to we're, three. No, all three of us. He's up to three fish, and I've got one spoon no, bill no. and a no. sandbag. No, hold on. No. That's all right. All three is we're on the team. We're gonna let him go. I don't want to go to the yellow. That would be cool footage right there. Houston, I think you've caught more than anybody today. Yep. You know it? I know. Look up. Woo, he's trying to get away. All right, let's go turn him loose, okay? I'll let him go, yeah, I'm gonna get Tommy to hold it. Okay, a second. Let's go with a bigger one. I'm gonna get a big one out of here. <laughs> Tommy don't like that, baby. That's a big one for Daniel. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. All right. Houston, like hey, him, you forgot to kiss him goodbye. No! Mwah. Stop! <laughs> Hey, a little boy last Sunday kissed it to try to make it turn into a princess. Uh. <laughs> Guess what? What do you think? Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. I love it. Those so much fun. Huh. It's chilly out here, though. Is it? Fish last year, I'll have the biggest one this year. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> so these spoonbill or paddlefish, if you're not familiar with them, they they kind of call both things. They won't bite a hook. They're filter feeders. They feed on on microorganisms and plankton or whatever it is, and in the water they feed on. They don't bite a hook. You can't just go out and fish for them. So you got to snag them. So there's a couple different ways of catching them. This morning you guys saw us snagging. So you take a huge treble hook and they're a protected species. The Oklahoma Wild Depart Wildlife Department does a really good job of taking care of the paddlefish populations and they, they uh, release a ton of them and they're, they're uh, very much controlled. You're only allowed to keep one per day. I've actually never kept one. We're gonna try to keep one today and do a little uh, catch, clean and cook. But they're, they're a really cool fish. It's like catching a dinosaur. So there's a couple different ways of catching them. You, you use the barbless treble hooks so you can go out and snag like we did this morning or you can use your boat to troll. Well, they're not set up back here, but Tommy's got a, a setup on the back of his boat to where if you don't, you know, not everybody wants to sit out there and just yank on that pole all day. 
So you can just set up all the rods off the back of the boat and just troll at a slow speed up and down the river and hook them that way. But they're a cool fish, they're a lot of fun to catch. And it's like catching a dinosaur. So we're gonna go trolling for a little while because that's what Houston wants to do. And we're gonna do a catch and cook, baby. And we'll show you how it's done. I don't think you do yet, buddy. Yeah, I do. I feel, yeah I do, see? Somebody come help me. <laughs> what, why, why are you yelling for help? I can't. Don't take the pole out yet, just reel. Look at this. Just reel. I can't. You can. Yeah, just reel, bud. Just reel. I didn't make much progress yet. Other hand. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this one is hard. You're doing good. You're doing good. Stop. Where's yeah. the fence? You're right there. He's coming. Hey, give me nothing. Good job. Hang on tight, there you ah, go. Hurry! <laughs> hey, Houston, what do you think, buddy? It's heavy. It's heavy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at there. Good job, Houston. So we put Dutch and Taylor back in their boat and we've been trolling and just killing them. Houston had a great idea to go trolling. He's been begging all morning. Trolling them, we've been slamming them. And then Dutch calls and says they've got a spoonbill on like a crappie pole. I mean, a, like a little lightweight, probably 10 pound test line at most. <laughs> they've got a spoonbill. They're way, 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 way under geared here. I'm afraid you're gonna pull the hook on this little crank thing. We just got a big one. Yeah, the camera, the fishing pole, and the fish. What's going on over there? Yeah. <laughs> you know about that? Holy crap. So tell us what you caught that spoon bill on, Taylor. I got him in. Woo. Aye. Did you hear that? Aye. Aye. I'm starting to think that uh, we might be a little over rigged over here. Maybe we don't really need anything but a crappie pole and a crankbait to catch them. Tommy's, Tommy's got us rigged up with like a 100 pound braid or something. Yep. It's huge, these big poles. I mean, really, that's kind of what you need. He got lucky. I don't know how they didn't break the line on that. Pretty cool. Luckily, it was a pretty small spoonbill. I mean, obviously. It was a cute one. Yeah. The one that Houston's catching wouldn't have come in on that pole. Would they? Well, we have to keep one of them and do a catch and cook today. Tonight, I mean.
paddle fish are kind of like deer. So Taylor's decided he's gonna tag this fish. He's gonna keep one today. Cause that's his daily limit is one fish. We're not gonna keep very many between the group of us. We may keep two at the most, but we're gonna get it uh, tagged. Tommy's writing down on a piece of tape. We'll put it on the fish itself. You gotta put the name, the time it was caught, the date it was caught, and your sportsman's ID number that you get on your paddlefish permit. Yeah, well, if you like spoonbill, we got we can keep one to We caught some sand bass. What? Did y'all keep them? Yeah. We have to keep one of them. Let me see. Fish on, fish on, honey. Uh, <laughs> that what you say when you catch a fish? Yeah. yeah. All right. Baby. That's the Daniel size right there. Hey. That's the eating size. So we finally found the right fish. Houston caught the right fish that we're gonna keep. So Tommy's gonna tag this thing for us and we're gonna hang it off the side of the boat and let it bleed out. So we get the meat nice and clean. And then I think we're gonna go have some lunch. Cause Houston's tired, aren't you? No. Are you sure? No. Put it down both sides. like a big worm. It's like a big old worm, Houston. I ain't touching that. <laughs> Why not? Cuz. Looks So like I said, we came out today snagging paddlefish here. Um, I guess it's technically the Neosho River. Yeah, the Grand River system. Grand River system. Yep. So we're we're above Grand River, or uh, Grand Lake, right? Below above, Grand Lake. We're below between Grand. Hudson and Fort Gibson Lake is where we're at. Okay. So either way, we're in Northeast Oklahoma. There's just not too many places around the country that you can come do this stuff. But if this is something you're interested in, look this guy up on Facebook. I'm gonna let him tell you where to find him what he's all about and uh, how to get a hold of him. I'm telling you what, this is so much fun. You could come do it without a guide, but I'm telling you what, if you want to catch a lot of fish in a little time, this is the guy to find. Hey guys, my name's Tommy. Yeah, you can look me up on TBD's Guide Service on Facebook, it's the only way I advertise. My phone number is 918-694-7077. Just give me a call. I mean, I specialize in paddlefish, but I, I, I put you on the sand bass catfish and we'll do a little bit of everything but this is my favorite thing to do i love taking people out just kind of one of those you know it's kind of one of those things everybody's amazed by the size of these fish and just how much fun it is so but 
Timmy B's Guide Service on Facebook. Like it, share my post. I'd appreciate it. And let me know if I can help you. We're gonna pull up here to the dock, clean these fish. Houston is just dying to do a catch, clean, and cook. You'll probably have to come along. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's still live. Hang on. Look at the camera. So you'll probably have to come along on another video for the cleaning part, but we're gonna clean these fish up, go have some lunch, and then maybe go out and catch a few sand bass, because that's what Houston wants to do, right? Yeah, but this one is still long. Looks like you're a good player. Let me get lucky. Never tried these fish before, but I'm excited to. Stomach. Watch it. 